Hello, it's John Bauman again. Here is a numerical example of how to calculate nominal and real GDP. Nominal GDP really means it's the actual values and the quantities of that year, the actual, use the actual prices. With real GDP, we're going to have to make an adjustment in terms of the prices. So let me show you what, uh, what I mean by that. Let's say we take a very simple economy here that only produces two products. As you can see here, we have four apples that we produce at 50 cents and five oranges at 60 cents. In year two, we have uh, five apples that we're producing at 60 cents, so the price went up a little bit, and three oranges at 70 cents. So let's calculate, first of all, the nominal GDP in year one. To calculate nominal GDP, you just simply multiply the quantities of the uh, product produced, so four apples, and you multiply it by the price, 50 cents. So let's do four times 50 cents, and that of course is two dollars. Dollar sign. And then you add the value of the oranges, so five times 60 cents, so the value of the oranges is three dollars. And if you add the value of the two together, two dollars and three dollars, of course, is equal to five dollars. So the nominal GDP in year one equals five dollars. Now let's calculate nominal GDP in year two. You essentially do the same thing. Take the quantity five times the price, 60 cents, and then so that is equal to three dollars for the apples, and then the quantity three times 70 for the oranges gives you 210. So as you can see, it's five dollars and ten cents, five dollars and ten cents in year two, and the nominal GDP from year one to year two has actually increased by 10 cents. Now let's take a look at real GDP in year one. So what does real GDP mean? Well, real GDP for, for years one and two means that we're going to keep the prices of the, uh, all the products the same for year one, year two, and if you had a third year, year three, year four. So what you have to agree on is what year, what year's prices should I take for all these years that I'm going to calculate real GDP for. So real is kind of a comparison, like a, a relative um, comparison of the value of uh, GDP. Now let's agree that we're going to use year one prices to calculate real GDP in year one. And then when we calculate real GDP in year two, we're also going to use year one prices. Well, if we're going to use year one prices, it means that real GDP in year one is the same as nominal GDP was in year one. So it's very easy. Real GDP in year one, simply also $5. Now let's calculate real GDP in year two. So we agreed to use year one prices. So what we have to do is take the quantities from year two, so five, for the apples, and we're going to use year one prices, so that's over here, it's 50 cents. Five times 50 cents, so the apples are worth 250 in real terms, in year one prices. Same for the oranges, you take the quantity three for the oranges, times the price of 60 cents in year one, so that was 60 cents times three then, equals 180 and if you add the two together you get four dollars and thirty cents so you can so now we've calculated nominal GDP in year one that was five dollars real GDP in year one was the same also five dollars because we used year one prices nominal GDP in year two was five dollars and ten cents and it actually went down or uh, in year Year, yeah, year two, and in, it went down for real GDP 
in year two to four dollars and thirty cents.